What's up, sneaker fam? It's your boy McFly, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. Coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over here in Atlanta, McFly, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell if you'll be so kind. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're enjoying the comment, man, feel free to leave a like. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, <laughs> feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below. If not, you can leave a dislike and leave a comment below. Let me know what I need to do better. Let me know what you didn't like. Whatever, 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 however, whatever, whatever whatever you know what i mean also subscribe to the who has the heat youtube channel e money shoes and 313 retro queen man it's always something going down on the who has the heat sneaker battle channel we're currently trying to hit that 1k so if you guys go ahead and sub up man we greatly appreciate it yeah i already know so today man we coming at you with another one a little outside of my element from the um new balance realm and all that we are going to be reviewing the bricks and wood new balance 9060s man so um, you know, the 9060 has definitely uh, been trending since its return or whatnot. And, uh, Joe Fresh Goods made it extremely popular, putting the little vaginas on the shoe <laughs> for, <laughs> for his rendition. Man, y'all can't tell me them little pies don't like don't look like little vaginas on that uh, Joe Fresh Goods joint. But it is what it is, man. So check it. Um, these were dropping. I was like, yo, I wouldn't mind getting a pair. I saw that uh, Bodega pair, and I wasn't able to get it. And then I saw that these were coming down the pipeline so i went and checked out new balance they showed your boy some love um wasn't a very long way to cue or nothing and i was able to check out um easy breezy beautiful cover girl you know what i'm saying i was able to get up out of there and uh be done with it man got these in a size 14 um solid shoe i, I really i like the shoe i like the look of the shoe um i didn't know much about bricks and wood and actually i still don't i know they're a south central la based company uh based around travel and stuff and that's really about it i never heard of them um, until this actual release but um you know it's a lot of it's so many stores and people and things that sneakerheads know about that i don't know about that i ain't really never paid attention to so it's, that's one of the things that i love about the sneaker game it's always something that you haven't seen or something that you don't know so um i took a chance on the shoe figured hey i got an opportunity to get it i might as well i did and i can say that i'm pleased with the product um let me know in the comments below did you cop these you rock with the 9060s do you have any of the other pairs what's your favorite um new balance model you know i had a lot of um i won't i won't lie i had some new balances when i was a kid but um it seemed like <clears throat> in my midlife college years and all of that i could rarely find a new balance in my size like finding the size 14 size 15 new balance was almost impossible for a very long time maybe i was just looking in the wrong spot but now that my attention is back on New Balance, I'm able to find them in my size and I'm trying to get out here and uh, do some things. I've got a review up on the Protection Pack 2002 R's, um, two pair of them, a very solid shoe. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm digressing. So let's get back to this. Now, you know, you got the dad feel. Y'all know I'm on the dad vibes um, with the sneakers, even though this is a running shoe. You can see the base on that. Your, uh, your cell color base with those green pods coming up here to what they would call the midsole. It starts off white, fades off into that gray, and you still have your green hits here for your little pods um, on the side. I think that's what really attracts me to the shoe is that the sole is really weird. It also reminds me of the Adidas Oswego, and I have, I have a pair of those. I really like that shoe. So, you know, that was another reason why I kind of gravitated to these. Um, I saw the nice little suede. Y'all know that um, New Balance comes with some extreme quality on their shoes. And I'm like, yeah, if there's some suede on it, it's going to be good. I saw the gray hits with that little Carolina blue tapped off. And I was like, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we copping that. I didn't even realize that the laces was fuzzy like that. But um, the gray hits up here on your upper, this mesh, said they did that on this pair for uh, breathability. So, you know, for all you hot-footed people. You got your ventilation and all that popping off and all is well in the world. However, I didn't know that all of these gray mesh pods are 3M reflective. I had no idea. The uh, trim around the end on the shoe is actually 3M reflective as well. So that was an added bonus. I was walking around the kitchen in them and I was like, these things reflect, dang. Look at that reflection on them. They ain't reflecting, cuz. But uh, one pain point to bring up. These laces ain't no joke to loosen. I had to, you know, untie, loosen them up a little bit to get my foot in it. I always do that to make sure I got the right fit 
on my shoes. You know, laces go a hard, a long way in uh, promoting comfort and uh, factory lace shoes. Every shoe I have, I usually unlace them totally and then relace them with my foot in the shoe. But this was so much a struggle, I was just like, now nah, I'm gonna take it a couple down, adjust and be done with it, man, because it was killing me. But um, other than that, it's pretty cool. You got the 9060 up here on your tongue. You see how they capped it off with that baby blue on the interior. You also have like a green camo with your uh, bricks and wood branded insole on the joint. Flipping around to the heel, you got this huge like shank pipe on the heel, see-through, it's uh, clear, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. The lateral side pretty much matches the uh, medial to the T, except you don't have the little green hits on the um, side. I wish they did that on the inside and the outside. I don't know if that's how the sole's made or why they don't do that or whatever. But if this had the same green hits like that does, I think it would definitely um, spice up that medial side a little bit. But either way, it don't hurt it. You know, I still like the shoe, just like the end here is different than, than on the other side or whatnot. Just little subtle differences if, if you're paying attention. Um, great quality on the shoe. Um, no glue errors and none of that other foolishness that you get from some of these other brands who I shall not mention. Those of which we do not speak. And boom. See that booty? Look at that booty. That booty. Then you back out. Same thing on that. Matches to the T, man. Solid pair of kicks. I'm actually happy to have these. Definitely going to put a lot of wear on these joints. Um, I went true to size on these and got a size 14. Um, they fit fine. However, um, comfort on these, I'd probably give them like a C plus, maybe a B minus. In my opinion, the 2002R is far more comfortable than this 9060, in, in my opinion. Let me know if you feel the same, if you have both pairs. Let me know which pair you prefer. Or if there's a pair more comfortable than both of those coming from New Balance. Maybe if it's something more comfortable than the 9060 or the 992, I can um, consider trying that out. Like I said, I'm an avid sneaker enthusiast. I'm not trapped in a box. I have over 15 different brands in my uh, sneaker collection. So, you know, I'm a jack of all trades. I touch on a little bit of everything. So, uh, yeah, if you got that information, I'll gladly listen to it. Uh, size and go true to size on these, definitely. Comfort, uh, C plus, B minus range. I definitely expected more from the comfort of this shoe, but uh, it is what it is, you know. We're definitely going to do our own foot, man. We're going to get that done for you guys so you can see how they look on feet. Hit you with the true, true, true um, dad vibes. If any questions you want to ask, anything you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Appreciate you guys coming through and rocking out with the homie, man. And until next time, it's your boy, Fly, man. I'll holler at you.